This holiday season, a troop of tubists and union of euphoniums, maybe even a smattering of sousaphones, uh, returns to the Centennial Concert Hall to present some low-end brassy good cheer. Manitoba Band Association's Tuba Christmas takes place this weekend. And before we hear more about the initiative, let's hear a little bit of music. I'll let our musicians take it away. Live in the Classic 107 studio, we just heard Kevin James, Aaron Egan, Eli Granger, and Vanessa uh, Vanessa Nowostowski, a quartet in studio with me this morning ahead of a tuba Christmas. Thanks all for being here. We're going to welcome some other folks to the mic. It is a a busy studio this Thursday morning. Uh, Chelsea Hebert of the Manitoba Band Association has, uh, has, has joined us. How good was that, Chelsea? It was just the best. What better way to start a day, Simon? Yeah, I know. I was going to say, if there could be, you know, a low brass ensemble that accompanied me every morning, I feel like my mornings would always be a little bit better. And there's also something that's so special about the the warmth and cheerfulness that that brass brings to the season. No disrespect to all the other instrument groups, though. Fair. Uh, Uh, I take a little offense. I'm not a little (laughs) brass player myself, but I'll agree for the sake of this uh, Well, this is Yeah, I was going to say, because this is a pretty special occasion. The 20th anniversary of Tuba Christmas, founded back in 2002. Tell us more about this initiative. Absolutely. So, fun fact, Tuba Christmas actually happens worldwide, all over the place. The first one happened in 1974 in Rockefeller Center. Wow. 300 tuba players right on the ice. And so, since uh, since 2002, we've been taking place in Winnipeg. A fantastic partnership with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra will be filling the Piano Nobile on Sunday afternoon. So, you mentioned um, 300-some players uh, at Rockefeller fill in the ice. How many players are you expecting in Winnipeg? We are expecting about 40 this year, which is very exciting for yeah. a post-pandemic. I was going to say, how many How many have you seen, and I mean, this has been going on for a long time now, after a few years hiatus, how many have you seen at, at, at the most? At the most, in 2019, we saw more than 100. That is that is remarkable. Like, that is such a large <laughs> gathering of, of players. What, what was that experience like? Were, were, were you there? Did you, did you hear that? magical sound? You know, I was there not with the Manitoba Band Association, but I was actually working with the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra at the time and I was literally blown away. It yeah. was fabulous. <laughs> How could you not be? That's that's a lot of power and a lot of wonderful sound. Um, now, in addition to our group of players here in studio, uh, we're also joined by Amelia Stakura, who, is, uh, who has joined us. Hey, Amelia, good morning. Hi. Thanks for being here this morning. Um, now you just started in in band. Is that is that right? Yeah, I started in September. You started in September, and something um, tells me you you might be a tubist. Is is that right? Is that your instrument? Oh yeah, I'm a tuba. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you like about your instrument? Um, I like how I don't have to walk home with an instrument. Ah, uh, that is a big one. You know what? To tell you the truth, I remember when I had my band audition. I wanted more than anything to play the euphonium and. I really wanted to do it. I just couldn't make a sound on it. So I got a clarinet that I had to carry home. But yeah, like you say, the tuba, you get to you get to leave it at school. What's it been like playing the tuba? Did did you ever play it before this year? Um, I haven't played any band instruments before this year. Oh, so what's that been like learning an instrument for the first time? It's been fun. Yeah. My mom's has not been having fun. (laughs) Uh, no, I mean, it's uh, it's one of those things. I mean, there certainly is a, a learning experience there, and glad you're doing it. Now, you're going to be playing on Sunday, is, is that right? Joining all the other tubas and low brass? Yeah, very excited. Yeah, tell us more. Are you, are you looking forward to being part of the gang? I am very excited. Is there anything in particular that you're most looking forward to playing? Like, is there one carol or holiday tune that you really want to play on your tuba? I want to play Jolly Old St. Nicholas because I think because we played that at a concert and so I've been practicing it for a while. Ah, uh, yeah, so I yeah. Think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, I'm sure you are. 
I'm sure you are. We'll have to have you back with your tuba next time uh, to play here in the studio. Uh, Chelsea, now, if there's anyone sitting at home listening and thinking like, you know what, I've got a tuba that's maybe collecting a bit of dust. I'd like to uh, bust it out and, and play this weekend. Uh, yes. The more the merrier? More the merrier. Registration will stay open right up until the event. And the WSO in our partnership has been so generous. All of our participants get free tickets to the concert that afternoon. Wow. So there's really no reason not to come. Please well, join us. Well, that's just it, right? So, I mean, this uh, uh, celebration of, of nations taking place this weekend on Saturday, mm -hmm. you'll be performing on Sunday on the Piano Nobile, right? Correct. Um, so registration through the Manitoba Band Association website. That's mbband.org. Uh, we'll also be sure to get the links up at classic107.com. Uh, just a super fun initiative. Glad you're all here to talk about it. And before I let you go, do you think you could play one more tune? Please. All right, all right. So we're going to let our instrumentalists set up once again in the classic 107 studio, another 107 live performance. <laughs> So good. Kevin, Aaron, Eli, and Vanessa in studio performing ahead of a tuba Christmas. That's this weekend, Sunday, at the Centennial Concert Hall on the Piano Noble A. Uh, if you have a, a tuba or a euphonium or a sousaphone that you would like to bust out, still time to register mbband.org for more details. We'll also get uh, more information up at classic107.com. Thanks for being here this morning, everybody. Great to have you. Thank you so much. <laughs>